Apple. So in essence, money makers from different people. There's some, um, if you know what Uber, how Uber works, Uber is, uh, uh, you know, like this past summer, my son and I in Albuquerque, he just called, he just hit the button and we got a driver was coming up, popped the picture of the driver and it showed on location all the way and was charged his credit card. We, both of us went two miles, two, about two miles to get to his apartment and, and uh, five bucks. So it was, it was wow. very reasonable as far as that's concerned. And, and the drivers are, could be at one spot and they go to another and tells you a lag time on that. We thought that might work here in Harmony. There, okay. It's like a, we were talking, it's like a carpool. So if I'm going over to the mall and somebody wants a ride over there, then they push their app and then I pick them up on my way over there and take them with me. Yeah, you don't like stop and go for a beer or something. No. Okay. no, no, not with Uber. Usually that's just a straight shot. So this is all over Denver right now. It's really, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, everybody's yeah. 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 Unless you're, they're agreeable, if they're, everybody's agreeable. Everybody go. They haven't had work for, for a week now. You know, I basically have 20, 20 people that I can't pay. You know, this is a disaster for my business. And then she, she finished the interview and she referred to Durangler as a bait shop. Aww. In other places and how pollution's playing down the rivers and, and what they can do, you know, what can be done here. And we've researched as far as Saudi Arabia, so. So we found that you could use corn cobs and corn, corn husks to clean up oil and stuff, and then you could just sweep them away with the skimmers. So, and we, you know, we found millions of solutions, but, and the kids are picking their best ideas for a contest. for not doing anything about it, that the mines are always leaking. They offered them a super fund and said clean it up and then said that they wouldn't accept the super fund because they were afraid it would affect the tourism industry and give them a bad name. And then Silverton came out and said, we've been trying to deal with this problem for over 20 years. The last mine was closed down in 1991 and these idle mines are just sitting there. And basically what happens is the ground is super saturated. There's snow and rain up there and it saturates the ground, well of course the mine leaves a hole and you have the water tables filling up inside these mines and that's what happened with this disaster is that it flushed the mine out. And everything that was in that mine was naturally occurring anyway. The reason it was orange that they believed was because of the iron plating that was inside of there. Maybe some of the rust is where they got that color from. But all, these, all this stuff, all the water that actually naturally goes through the ground up there carries down everything, including the arsenic and all the ores and the metals and everything, and that ends up in our, our animus and all of our rivers anyway. So it wasn't really anything that was not in there before or anything that had never been in there before. And so basically you had two alternating positions. You had one that was accusing and then Silverton that said, no, we're trying to, we've never had the funding before, but now we're trying to, to do it. So that was one of our solutions is that maybe we thought that they could accept more funding of some type of cleanup or they even suggested putting in a water treatment that would address the acid mine drainage that naturally occurs and protecting the watershed. You could also do some kind of uh, yeah, rain, ten seconds, okay, so. rainwater, <laughs> rainwater recycling where I know they do that for wildlife. They set up these big open tanks and they have rainwater that's collected in there and the animals can come in and then sometimes it has a well.
great public's work project and I'm happy to be a part of it. Thank you.